Good morning everybody, it's Angela and David from Wiley's Travel Adventures. Today we brought you to my old hometown called Hexham. It's in Northumberland. It's halfway between Newcastle and Carlisle, situated on the A69. Uh, it's got all your amenities, it's a market town. It's got a hospital and libraries and restaurants and shops and all the major supermarkets. So I'm just going to turn you around and uh, show you whereabouts we are. So we parked just on the opposite side of the hospital, which is opposite to us as we're standing. David had his knees and his hips done in this hospital. So his we've his huh? second home. His second home it was for a while, yeah. And I'll turn you to around, and this is the new bus station. It's been here a few years now and we parked at the back of the bus station. There is a much bigger car park called Wentworth Car Park, which has got a lot of spaces and it's uh, got where the supermarkets are as well. So we might have a walk down there later on. So we're just walking past the bus station. Now it's changed a lot since I lived here. I lived here until I was 26 years old. I was born here as well. And there's a lot of new buildings popped up since then. Like just over the road you've got Marks and Spencers and then you've got a B&M um, next to that as well. So the street straight ahead is called Priest Popple. They seem to be doing a lot of work on it at the moment. I'm not sure what they're doing. Yeah. So this road down here leads you to the main car park. You go in where the red car's turning. And further around it takes you to the train station as well. So I'm just going to show you my old haunts and that's one of them over the road, the county. It's uh, nice food in there. And this is Priest Popple. It's a bit ugly at the moment because of all the roadworks. But Hexham is a pretty town. I do miss it sometimes. But things have changed a lot since I lived here. As everywhere does, I suppose. You saw a difference when you went to Kilmarnock, didn't you? Kilmarnock and Troon, yeah. And yeah. Right. yeah. Nothing stays the same. I'll show you where the bus station used to be when we go past it. So that's where the old bus station used to be. Little car park now at the back of there. So that building over there used to be Rob's of Hexham, that used to be a massive department store. But unfortunately, like anything else, it's no longer, it hasn't been open for years. And that's Lloyd's Bank over there, that's where I started working. In 1981, a long time ago. So all this building, all the way along here, and where that cheap looking store is, used to be Rob's of Hexham used to be a big area. So this place we're in now used to be part of Rob's. It's called the Yorkshire Trading Company. Is that right, David? Okay. Yeah, it just sells all sorts, basically. So we thought we'd have a quick look. So this is one of the main shopping precincts. It's called Four Street. It's changed a bit as well when I used to live here. It's got super drug, card factory, mountain warehouse, the WH Smith, all the shops you need. Boots the chemist. Used to be a massive store along here called Robinson's. Used to sell everything and it, the money used to shoot across the ceiling in little it's on a little like pulley system. I used to love watching it when I was little. That's probably why I work, started working in a bank, I think, from that shop. So we're in the marketplace now. This is the shambles. And there's a white van there. <coughs> and if anybody watched Vera the other week, she was filmed in Hexham, a few different locations. And this was one of them, the shambles. So over there you've got Weatherspoons on the bottom and the cinema on the top. Uh, when I used to live in Hexham, it used to be all the cinema. 
had many a good laugh in no, them days at the cinema. Used to go every Saturday. Uh, every Tuesday the market used to be on and then it stopped for a while and see there's a few stalls today, maybe it's some sort of food market. And there's the impressive Hexamavi in the background. So we're just under the archway now where the moot hall is. I'm not going to read all that out so you just have to read it yourselves. So that building over there it used to be an old jail. We'll just go and read the sign for it. It hasn't been over, it's open since COVID times. Yeah. It was built in 1330. It does say on the sign that it opens from April to October, so maybe it is open now. Every time we've come, it's been shut anyways. And that building straight ahead is the back of Rob's. It's a massive building, as I've said before. And going down that hill there, you go to the main car park. Yeah. yeah. So all these are new builds, well, out of the old buildings, but they haven't progressed much since we were last here. Yeah. We're at the back of the old jail now. These old buildings here. Yeah, it's a pretty town at Hexham. It's worth coming to have a look if you're up this far. Be nice to see some people I recognise. I've recognised one person that used to be in my class at school. I'm sure this used to be an old schoolhouse or something. I might be completely wrong mind. Yeah, some nice old buildings, nice houses, lots of amenities. So we just thought we'd let's just go somewhere to do a vlog. And I've always wanted to do one from Hexham. That's the other side of this building. Impressive looking. Oh, and we can't get through there, even though there's a signpost. So this is just down this hill I was mentioning before. That used to be, that archway used to be the old entrance into Rob's of Hexham. Goes down to the railway st station and the leisure centre also. Going back the way, that's the top of the abbey you can see. Past all these houses are getting done up. Trying, we're trying to work out when we were last here. They haven't seemed to moved on any of these houses. Yeah. 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 Building straight ahead with the burgundy. That used to be the old gas board, if anybody can remember that. My mum used to work there, she used to clean in there and they had the showroom at the front. So that there, this is the back entrance of the moot hall, or could be the front entrance, whichever way you want to look at it. So there you have Hexham Abbey in all its glory. We shall walk past there. Oh, this is Hexham Abbey. I'm not going to go into the history of it because it's all online and I don't have a photographic memory so now this is where Brenda Bleffin was and Vera long here walking in the footsteps of famous people <laughs> and this is some of the side view of Hexham Abbey some gravestones over there
So this is the Hexham Abbey car park. And that's another good view of the Abbey here. So in here we have the bowling green. Many a day I used to come and sit in here watching the bowlers. Never changed. This bit has never changed. <laughs> Probably still the same huts. And that house over there, it's called Hexham House. Yeah, it used to be a lovely place to live. So this is a signpost telling you about Hexham Parks and Hexham House. We are there. I don't know whether you'll be able to read this or not, but I'll just go slowly down it. As you can see, there's a lot of historic old Bimbledons in Hexham. This is a wee burn. 